one billionaire, two senators talking about it. I know they have health care. And I want to know what they're going to do to help other people besides themselves. So hold them to a high standard. because they're too high and they're getting higher. So I will go after drug companies that charge too much and engage in predatory pricing because what they're doing is wrong. People who have relied on the same drugs that have been around forever all of a sudden being told it's going to cost 10, 20, sometimes 500 times as much as it's going up. It's just wrong. Now I also want to talk about the barrier that too many people face when it comes to education. Yeah. I worked hard when I was your first lady to improve education in our state because it mattered to me to be able to work with teachers and educators and citizens across uh, Arkansas to see what we could do to provide a better education. And we made real progress. I want everybody to continue to make progress because I believe that every single child, no matter where that child lives, whatever zip code he or she lives in, is entitled to a quality education, and that's what I'm going to ask for. And I think a lot of that starts with early childhood education. You heard Bill talking about a program I brought to Arkansas called the Home Instruction Program for Preschool Youngsters. We did it because we wanted to help parents, particularly moms and grandmothers, know what they could do to better prepare their own children. And it worked. I want to expand that. I want more families to have access to programs like that. And universal pre-kindergarten because I want kids prepared to learn when they show up in kindergarten or first grade. It starts with formal education. And then we've got to get college affordable again. For We've got to get the cost down. Here's my plan. You will have debt-free tuition to go to a public college or university just like this one or any other in the state. You will not have to borrow a dime because we will invest in your education. Yeah. I believe it's one of the investments, the best investments we can make as a nation. And we've got to get the cost down. And we've got to make sure that everybody else contributes. I think students should work 10 hours a week because I think investing that in your own education is a great way to help defray the cost, but also to show your commitment. But I also believe that we've got to make sure that it, the money we get to do this goes to the people who need and deserve it. I differ with my opponent who wants free college for everyone. That's very expensive, and I do not want you to pay to send Donald Trump's youngest child free to college. I think that people who can afford it should pay for it. As part of my college plan, I have a special fund devoted to historically black colleges and universities. <laughs> because they have performed a great service for our nation. They educate the majority of African-American doctors and lawyers and professionals. And I want to see them continue and make sure everybody gets a chance at an education. And then we are going to help you refinance your college debt. So that, how many of you have college debt right now? Oh, yeah. Okay, I want to ask, does anybody have an interest rate of more than 10% that you know of. Anybody? Okay. Okay. I want you to understand, those of you who are not burdened by student debt or it was a long time ago like it was for me, we have young people in our country paying interest of 10, 11, 12, and I met a young person, a student uh, in South Carolina at 13% interest rate. We haven't had interest rates that high for anything else in years. You can refinance your home mortgage to get it lower. You can refinance your car payment to get it lower. Corporations can refinance their debt to get it lower. But we don't let students and their families refinance student debt. That's going to change 
when I am president, we're going to have a And we're going to move as many young people as we can into what are called contingency repayment programs. That's what Bill and I have.